So what's going on guys, it's just speedboxing, make sure you subscribe to my channel before you click onto any of my videos, also comment below in the comment section if you have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of my videos, it really helps me out if you guys could drop me a sub or two on my channel, it is appreciated. So ever since late 2016 when Olympic gold medalist and female boxer Katie Taylor turned over from being an amateur and signed as a professional and signed with Matchroom Sports and Eddie Hearn. There's been a little bit of buzz behind female boxing and a lot of mixed reaction. You've got some people saying it's good for the sport, women should get the respect men do and if they work hard and dedicate themselves to the sport and are talented fighters they should get the same success as men do. But on the other hand you've got people who say it's not good, that it's not their cup of tea and the fights are not competitive enough and it's just not doing it for them, it's not exciting and you've even got male fans out there saying they don't like to see women get punched in the face and seeing women get cut open, they find it uncomfortable and women feel the same as well about men like I know women who think that boxing's a brutal sport and they find it uncomfortable when they see men bleeding and getting beat up in a ring and stuff like that so there's a very mixed reaction to it but female boxing has took a little bit of a turn in the past year or so you had Clarissa Shields turn professional middleweight fighter she's a Olympic medalist gold medalist at the middleweight division and she's got a little buzz on her name I think she headlined a show on PBC like the first woman to ever do that and you've got um, Nicola Adams also turning professional two-time Olympic gold medalist signing with Frank Warren in Queensberry promotion fighting on BT and Box Nation and Natasha Jonas who fought Katie Taylor in the Olympics in a bit of a high-profile fight back in 2012 in the Olympics she recently came out of retirement to sign a pro contract and she's been trained by Joe Gallagher in his gym and women boxing is something that's really under the spotlight at the minute and you've got Katie Taylor who's standing out out of all these women because she's a very talented fighter she's had five fights she's already in line to fight for a world title she won everything as an amateur national championships European championships world championships Olympic medals this is a very talented female fighter and she is good to watch in the ring. Her style, in my opinion, is still similar to an amateur style. It's one of them that's going, throwing fast shots and moving in and out of range. It's a very amateur style. But she is exciting to watch and she hits very hard and she hits with accuracy and she tends to break women down when she's in the ring with them. That's what I've seen so far. And she's already in line to fight for a world title. She won a WBA eliminator the other night on the Anthony Joshua Vladimir Klitschko bill and now she's going to face a woman probably in the next fight or in a couple of fights time called Cecilia Comunales an Argentinian fighter 14 and 1 and people are expecting Katie Taylor to win this world first world title with flying colours pass this test with flying colours because she is a very talented fighter and she does stand out to a lot of women in female boxing and she has a huge support behind her in Ireland a lot of Irish fans are behind Katie Taylor. She f flew the flag for Ireland in the 2012 Olympics. And Eddie Hearn is on about taking her over to Ireland and fighting over there. You also want to take her out to the States in New York and Chicago where there are a lot of Irish populated people, Irish Americans, Boston, places like that on the East Coast. And we see it recently with Michael Conlon, Irish fighter who signed with Bob Arum and Top Rank. He made his debut at Madison Square Gardens in a four-round fight, headlined it, was walked out by UFC megastar Conor McGregor. And Irish fans tend to get behind their own. And I think Katie Taylor, if she keeps displaying good skills and keeps on winning, she can grow the buzz. And maybe more people will learn to accept her as a fighter. But you'll always have people who are going to say women boxing is not for them. And they don't like seeing it. You can't change people's per personal preferences. In my opinion, it's, if it's good fights and it's entertaining, then I don't mind if it's male or female. I understand why people say it's not competitive and stuff like that. I, I understand that. Like some of the fights in female boxing are not competitive at all. So you see it sometimes in male boxing when a high-level guy fights a journeyman. Like it happens in both male and female boxing. More in the women boxing, I know that. 
because Katie Taylor is a very talented fighter and some of the other women are not so talented or like three, four levels below Katie Taylor. But she's really trying to do something in the sport of boxing and it's something different and if it's not for you, that's okay. But I don't understand these people who always have to put it down and stuff like that. If it's not for you, don't watch it, move on. But if people are interested in it, don't put people down for being interested in it. That's all I'm saying. Comment below in the comment section. It's JM. It's